Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. All right, welcome back. Hello, Aaron. Uh, hello, Daniel. How are you? I'm quite well. Hello, lovelies. Uh, hello, Dan. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wonder how many people said hello to their screens. Yeah. Probably a couple. Uh, yeah. Probably some, some sweet folks out there. We're like, hey man, yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, me? <laughs> well, <laughs> hello. <laughs> whiz. So you can swim, uh, to where you need to be now. Yeah, dude. So, uh, as we were saying on the last episode, um, I fucking forgot about these three fairies that I yes. collected meticulously and did not turn in uh, hilariously. Who do you who do you turn them into? The, oh, the Great Fairy. The great Fairy, yeah. Yes. This, this is all coming back to me now. Yeah. Just like, uh... Just like... Uh, peeing into the wind. Boy. Boy, howdy. Have you ever done that? Peeing into the wind? Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. You're, you're asking it's, uh, Aaron Eagle Raptor Hansen if he's <laughs> done something that involves bodily fluids? Oh yeah. my god, this fucking fish is driving me insane. <laughs> Where are you, you motherfucker? Is it always, is it always the same one? Yes. <laughs> I keep trying to jump up and, and leap up onto the fucking island, and this fucking fish just gets right in my face. He's on a mission to kick your ass. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Oh, geez, that, wow, that was so fucking annoying. Hey, here's another one. No. <laughs> no, I refuse. There we go. Okay. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking bird! <laughs> and just yeah. leave me be, folks! You just described all the difficulties of living on a Caribbean island. <laughs> Ugh, this fucking fish! Ah, this fucking bird! <laughs> it's true. <laughs> These fucking coconuts! Hey, 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 what are you doing? The coconuts never fall in this game, do they? I don't think so. Hmm. That's too bad. Uh, hey dude, check it out. It looks like butt cheeks. <laughs> Aaron. That's extremely immature. Also, it's the exact joke I made in <laughs> in Orgy for One. <laughs> Yo, check it out. Watch this. I'm about to blast these butt cheeks open. Kaboom, baby! With your, Boom! <laughs> with your face! With your face! Get right in there! Oh man, that rules. Alright. Oh man. What? Hold on. What? The, I have to find it. It just reminded me. What's up, sister? Oh, your hair color is so fucking cool. Wow, it's like shimmery purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a picture of a guy, like, smiling and holding, um... Uh... An acrostic poem, and it says, I enjoy her jokes, assist her, treat her right, actually love her, spend time with her, and support her. <laughs> and if you read down the side, it just says, I eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. It's really funny. That is that is assisting and supporting for sure. I mean, you, you, you can't you can't support any more than that. <laughs> That's the number one support system. Uh, cool. All right. I'm so. not a big fan of her frantic scream, as she, uh, her scream laugh as she dwindles into the water. She does have a bit of a scary cadence about her. I I can't quite put my finger on it, but it might be the fact that it's like. The shrieks of the damned. Yeah, terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Excuse me. It's very terrifying. terrifying. Um, I am going to warp to Clocktown and talk to a frog. Which yeah, I was gonna say you you must be on the road to your next frog, because yeah, that's dude. what you do. You're Aaron Hansen, frog frogman. <laughs> Aaron Hansen frogman. Frogman. Aaron Hansen toad collector. That's right, buddy. That's right, buddy boy. Um... 
I think, actually, you know what? I think that might be the last one. No, no, I need to go to the southern swamp. There's one over there. Oh, dang it. Oh, I was no. like, oh, the final frog. Don't activate this fucking shit. Don't activate this fucking shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Don't talk to me. No, don't talk hey, to me. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> That's always what you will hear when you think to yourself, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> What's going on, dude? Oh, that was- Dude! Me. Yeah. Dude, I-, I did. Oh, no, do, no, I mean, I got lots of time! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, I did that once. I saw a friend at a grocery store, and it was like, it's not that I didn't want to talk to them. Like, I was actually really excited to see that friend. But okay. I was just like, it, it was like, I was so, just like, tired. And, and like quarantine brained, you know? Yes, uh, sure. And I had like a mask on and I just like wasn't feeling great. And right. And so I was like, ah, you know, I might just text them later and just be like, hey, I think I saw you, you know, and then like strike up a conversation over text. Because I just did not have the like mental wherewithal to talk to them. Right. And then they ran into me and I was like, all right, well, this is fine. I wanted to say hi anyway. And, you know, I'll, I'll push past it. And, but I was, like, my body was like, you really don't want this right now. You are so tired. <laughs> dead. So I was just kind of like, hey, man. Ah, oh. like, I was just, like, really trying. And then it just, and, and then afterwards I was like, I, I hope I didn't, like, seem like I didn't give a shit. Because, like, I did, but also my body was just, anyway. Dude, honestly, I think, like, we are all just in the weirdest circumstances of our lives simultaneously. Yeah. And I think everyone gets it. Dude, whenever I see somebody, you know, like, this, the six feet away and with a mask, I, I just, it's exhausting. Like, I just haven't spoken to human beings in person like that, other than my wife, in, in so long. Like, it, it's, I'm just like, oh, Jesus, this is really, this is killing me right now. Yeah, I, I know the feeling. It's, it's very strange. It's very surreal. Um, I was in a CVS. Uh, because I had to pick up medication, you know, sometimes like it's just unavoidable um, And I had the mask on and all that and a fan came up and he was like, hey, are you Dan? Because I mean like the hair dude like it doesn't matter how masky you get, you know <laughs> yeah. um, And I was like, yeah, man, that's me and we both like sort of leaned in towards each other because he wanted to say something and I wanted to be like dude, you know and but neither of us could so yeah. it was just this very strange, like, well, thanks, <laughs> yeah. see ya, you know, it was, it was so bizarre. Um, but, uh, whoever, who, if you're listening right now, uh, I was, I was grateful and I was, I hope you could tell by my eyes that I was smiling, <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, the smile with the eyes, that's the thing now. Well, that, it, it's weird too, cause like, sometimes from a distance, people will think, like, you're having no reaction to them whatsoever. Like, when we walk our dog and stuff, the, the, um, I'll smile to someone, and they'll just have no reaction. I'm like, oh yeah, they can't see the smile. Yeah. So, I, uh, I've got, I've gotten, I've started waving at everyone. I'm just like, hello! <laughs> the <laughs> arms just flailing in all directions. A big theatrical gesture. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's, it's, uh... It's the weirdest of times. It's so weird. I hate it. <laughs> hmm. Well, look at you. You can't hate anything when you're hopping happily across a little lake. Yeah, that's true. Talking to that last frog. Look at him, you caught him right in the middle of the- Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, it's Tanjiro! Uh, oh, it's been so long, baby! What's <laughs> brought you all this way? Could it be? Is spring finally come to the mountains? Oh, yeah, dude. That look, it is true. Winter was so long, I began to lose all hope. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. Fuck yeah, dude. Pe what? Wow, that was as fast as you can go. <laughs> he, yeah. Should I take the water, or should I just... <laughs> <laughs> Already made the decision, baby! Woo! <laughs> I'm really hoping that's it, because I, I'm, I did them all. I did Great Bay, I did Woodfall. Yeah, I feel like we've spent enough time in this playthrough collecting frogs. Should be good, man. There the, are they all there? They are all there! Oh, yeah! Yes. Look at them all! They're so sweet! 
I have been waiting for you, Don Jiro. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. As you can see, Don Jiro, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our chorus. Oh my god. Uh, this is adorable. Yeah. Come on. Uh. I'm a frog. I'm a frog, hippie what? hoppy, motherfuckers, hippie hoppy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess frogs would be great at hip hop. Hippity <laughs> 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 hoppity flippity floppity. All great right. job. Wow, look at that mask on your face. <laughs> yeah. It it's like that. a face hugger from Alien. It is weird how like the hands of the mask cover your eyes. Maybe it's, it is bizarre. It's as if that you're seeing through the eyes of the frog. Oh, dude, so deep. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> but you just blew my fucking mind apart. <laughs> but bro, though, like, but, but bro? even that, bro. Um, dude, uh, I th I think that's it, man. That's it for the side quests. Like, go is defeated. Oh no no no, dude, Actually, that's wonderful. There's oh. Stuff I can do oh, here. No. Never mind. That. Um, I use the Zora. Mask. What do you need to get? Well, so now that it's spring here, I can, like, go into the water. It's not frozen over. And there should be some trees mm -hmm. down here. Oh, nice. Suck my wiener. Suck it good now. Suck my wiener. Suck it good. I did a <laughs> test right here. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty much a bird dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry if I'm... Not taking it all the way today. <laughs> what do you mean? You're singing about wieners? You t I, you've taken it exactly the, as far as you always take it. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> she that's how you roll, game. baby. I'm pretty stacked, Plus though, compared to... Yeah. Compared, compared oh to where we were. Oh my god, dude, it's night and day. Yeah. You didn't have any upgrades, you had seven hearts, you had, like, so few masks. Yeah, and um, now... now how many hearts do I have? Fucking 13? Looks uh, like 13. And You've almost doubled your hearts, because I believe you had 7. Well, not only that, but I now I have a defense upgrade that makes everything do half damage to me. So, it's like I have oh, 4 Oh, so it's actually as if you have 26 hearts. Yeah. Pretty fucking cool. Gee whiz, Aaron. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty awesome, so... <laughs> I guess it's just something I'll have to live with, big epic! <laughs> Yeah, man. It's like if you want to write like a live journal entry about me, like that'd be that's cool. <laughs> if you want to hit me up on uh, ICQ. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh man, I see fucking Q, baby. Um, I think that's it for Goron area. Great. It's, it's time for fucking Stone Stone Baby, dude. Stone Baby. The the Stone Temple. Oh, oh, the, the the one you couldn't beat before. Yeah. With the guy who explodes in a million bats? Mm-hmm. Oh, Aaron. My god. You finally did it, bro. I, I know, like... It, this is incredible! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Seriously, though, like, how, how long has it been? Uh... 14 episodes? Actually, I can fi I, I can find out... Exactly. I can find out when that last episode of Majora's Mask was uploaded. Yeah, it was episode 36, I believe. I think we went farther than that. I think it was in the 40s. Really? I think. I think so. Majora's Mask. Oh, what's the fucking elegy of emptiness? Effigy of Elegis. Elegy of emptiness. That can't be. 64 episodes? What? Oh my god, we did! We did do wait, 63. 63 episodes. Wow. And I know 63 is the last one we uploaded because it's called Zelda's Majora's Mask, part 63. Too hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Well, here we are. Well, fantastic then. I know, man. This is exciting. Ah, shit, I forgot to see when it was uploaded. That was the whole point of that. 
Yeah. April 21st, 2018. So two and a half years ago. Oh, basically. Wow. Well, two years and change, somewhere between. I mean, that's still a long time. It's still been. Yeah, it's a hot minute. Golly, I didn't realize it had been that long. Yeah, man. Like, I don't even know. What how the hell have we been doing all this time? Well, I think, I think there was a period of time where I was just like, no, I'm not doing it, you know. And then, right, we probably just put it out of our minds. Yeah. And then after a while, it was like, well, we got to do it, dude. Yeah, I, I think, I think Backstreet Boys tour made us reevaluate a lot of things in our lives where you know it's it's just a good chance to tidy up loose ends well i think there was also like a sort of you know not to be like self-aggrandizing or anything but it was like I, I think we were thinking more like charitably like what do the fans want to see you know like this is a tough time for everyone well like, sure what, sure what can we do that like people will really want to watch that people have been asking for um yep uh and this was this was one of them. Yeah, the link between worlds was another. Um, and uh, a as we knock these out, um, the the barrel will get emptier and emptier, and get eventually get to the stuff that we really don't want to do, <laughs> like <laughs> finish trauma center and stuff. Oh man. Um, yeah, but if you did that, it sure would make people happy, and I bet it would only be like one or two episodes. Oh, well, I mean, it would be fucking, like, days of my life, probably, trying to, like, get good enough to clear those stages. Oh, it absolutely would. Because <laughs> that's, that's the, that was the issue with it, was... It was so fucking hard. Well, same thing with Wii Punch-Out, man. Yeah. Friggin', that's, that second round is just utter brutality. I mean, it's, it's also like, uh, like Sekiro. Like, I've never actually beaten Sekiro. I got to the last boss. But mm. he was really hard, and I was just like, man, this is too hard, and then I just stopped. And then the the longer you stop for, that game's like completely skill-based, so... Oh, yeah, of course. It's not like by taking a month off, it's like, oh, I cleared my head, and now... It's like, yeah, no, I've you, regrouped. You actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got worse at the game, making yeah. <laughs> it a thousand times harder. Yeah, that is true. That is definitely true. Oh, hello. Uh, good day. Good day, Mr. Chest. Scary bomb creature. <laughs> uh, how the fuck? Well, I guess I can't really jump over there, can I? Yeah, I got through this whole stone temple again. I'm like a pilot over here. <laughs> I was gonna say, where are the pilots? <laughs> Every time you say stone temple, it's impossible for me to not <laughs> think know. of that band. Maybe that's how they- Have you listened- Uh, have you listened to their new album? Without- Scott Weiland? Mm-hmm. No, who's the singer? Uh, his name is Jeff Goot. He was, uh... I think he was on The X Factor. He's got a great voice, though. Does he sound um, like Scott? Sometimes, yeah. Uh... He's, like, close... It's kind of like, um... William Duvall, who replaced Lane Staley and Alice in Chains. Like, yeah. he's close enough that he can sing the old stuff, but, like, different enough that it sounds like a like a new angle on the band. Yeah. Um, I was very impressed by their last album. Uh, really? Stone Temple Pilots' last album. Yeah. Um, okay. It's called Perdita, and it's all it's all acoustic, and I think it's beautiful. Wow. All right. Yeah. Totally. Totally worth a listen, and and kind of melancholy, so it's good for when you're you're feeling sad and you want to just kind of wallow in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've all been there at some point in the last couple of months. Well, I think probably... I mean, is is it similar to like when Alice in Chains came back and like the entire... What was it? Black Gives Way to Blue? Um, that, that was like... You could tell the entire album was about Lane. Is it, is yeah, it like I don't that? know. I don't think so. Um, uh, because Stone Temple Pilots, after... After, after Wyland left the band... Um, or got fired, I guess. Um, they did that thing with Chester Bennington. Uh, oh. they did a, an EP with him. Um, so th this, this wasn't their first, like, rodeo without 
Wyland. Um, and then they released um, their first album with Jeff Goot in 2018, but it didn't make that much of an impression on me. I kind of feel like it was them sort of like feeling out how to be a band together. Yeah. Um, but this new one, I thought it was a totally cool new direction for them, and um, I thought the playing and the singing was beautiful. I was really impressed. God, that's got to be such a weird experience, like going on tour with a band like that, where it's like, you want so badly to like, carve out your own path, and then, you know, everybody wants you to play fucking... Like the hits. Plush and shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I went through some version of it when I joined the show, you know? Um, it's, uh, that, that, that was not super easy, a super easy position. Um, I got, I got some hate mail like I've never experienced before. Yeah, that was a bummer. Uh, but, I, but, I mean, like, at the end of the day, what can you do? Like, you can, you can only be yourself and... If it'll be good enough for some people and not good enough for others, and um, and that's that's it. You you just put your head down and move forward. True that, man. Well, I'm glad yeah. we did. You know, we we we've ended up doing some really good stuff. It's led to seven of the best years of my life, for sure. Oh come on now. Oh yeah. Oh sure. Yeah, Game Grove has completely changed my life. I've I've talked about that before. You know, I mean like. You you look at my life now and um it's there's no my life. literally my life. It's beaches every single night. Uh skinny waisted high fashion riding in the G Wagon. Literally my life is literally my life. <laughs> no, I was gonna say there's no part of my life that hasn't been touched in some way by game grumps, you know? Um yeah, just good. because when something that big happens to your life, it sends you off in a direction. And you're like, well, I would have never even... Who knows if I would have even stayed in the city, in LA, if it, if it wasn't for Grumps, you know? Yeah, um, true that. A lot of people who come to LA to, to do something, um, leave when they don't find what they're looking for. And there's, n there's no guarantee I would have found it, you know? Hmm. So anyway, the... the the usual long-winded way of saying thank you, and, uh... And thank you to the lovelies, cause, man, it's been- it's been life-changing, for sure. Bro... I couldn't have done it without you, so... There you go. Aw, you- you sweet- you sweet little angel. But yeah, so... I- Maybe- maybe that does make me more forgiving when it comes to guys like... Duval and- and Jeff Goot, cause like... Um... We're sort of in that position. Yeah, I mean, it- it must- it must be even harder from a from a musical standpoint because you're really I mean we do live shows for Game Grumps too but like it's it's mostly a show that's done from our from our houses and from an office you know and it, it's usually there's no crowd there it's just you and me and um you might hear things that people feel about it later but that's about it um, whereas if you, if you go on tour in that position, um, you're actually on stage and you know, and everyone else knows that if there hadn't been some misfortune along the lines, they'd be looking at the guy who wrote the songs that you're singing, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so that it's, it's, uh, it's gotta be strange, but I, th I thought both those guys handled it really well. Well, that's very nice. I think it's all... Yeah, I think it's also, like, people kind of give them a break, um, in general, because at least with Lane Staley and, uh, Scott Weiland, they were both such hardcore drug users, and the, the bands gave them so many chances, you mm. know, to get their act together, and they waited, and, I mean, in some cases, they waited, you know, Alice in Chains, I think, waited 15 years, you know? Um, well, it's also like, it's, it's, it's like tragic and there, there's sort of no other option, I guess. Because when you think of like, like a band and then like 
the lead singer leaves or something, you know, and then like does something else. Then fans can sort of be like, yeah, but what if, you know, fuck you guys for keep you know, like that kind of thing. And it's like, no, they're 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 dead. Like it's it yeah, was, they're it was dead. Very sad and tragic, and they're all very sad about it, and they wish it was the way that you want it, but unfortunately, it's not. Right, right, and I mean, it. it Scott Weiland died later, but like he was fired from the band for five years before he died and I mean like they just didn't get along like they 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 weren't they weren't clicking for whatever reason and so there wasn't like it's it's it feels like more of a choice because he was alive and around but mm -hmm. like it really wasn't a choice because it, it was uh, the the band was gonna break up uh, otherwise um, interesting I didn't know that yeah 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 because he was just too much of a too much of an addict. Uh, heroin is just brutal, man. Yeah. Like, I've never... The, whenever I have kids, that'll be the one thing I tell them. Like, don't, don't do that one. Like, <laughs> like, no, that, no, no heroin, no meth. Um, cause, I mean, there's plenty of horrible drugs out there, but like, you can bounce back from a bunch of them, but those two don't have a good bounce ratio. No. Uh, definitely not. It's, it's, meth is tough. Um... Meth is brutal because, like, everyone who does it starts to have the same, like, look about them, you know? Yeah. I- Dude, um, I gotta, it's like- It's very upsetting. Look up a walkthrough right now, cause I- Oh, no, Are, no, are no, you- are this. you super lost? Um, I think I got this. Yeah, let's pause the episode, man. No, no, no I think I just got this. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, like I think I literally Okay. I didn't even notice. I've just been yammering on about friggin' Alice in Chains and Stone Temple Pilots. There we go. Ah. Okay, that's better. <laughs> that's exactly the sound I would make if I fell and landed on my feet from that height. <laughs> ah, right. I didn't even... Dude, if you fall from that great a height, like, what is even the best way to land? Because uh, your feet, you just shatter your ankles. Yeah, so there is, there is, um, a method to it. It's, okay. Um, it is, uh, it's like slightly diagonal. Um, because it, it's like, you, you basically want to create your, your own, like, crumple zone. And you're trying to okay. protect... Your like major organs in your head, so okay. Uh, you like it? You kind of like um, tilt in a diagonal and then like land like feet first. So like all that force gets like put in there, but like not straight up. You know, it like sort of like crumples down. Um, wow. There's a famous story of this woman who. What did I get from that? I wasn't paying attention because I was talking about. Uh, feet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's this famous story of this woman who w went parachuting, and she, uh, and her parachute didn't, it, 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 like, got caught, so she just, like, Oh, God. It, like, kind of opened, but she just kind of careened down to the, to the earth. Um, right. And she just fucking, poof, right on the ground. But she survived. Um, and I think with, like, not super major injuries, um, wow. And they sort of like went into the science of like how that was possible. And it was possible because of the way she landed. It was like the exact Jeez. right way to land. And it was because the, the parachute was like making her body go in that position. Um, right. She just got very lucky. Yeah. Uh, so she was like perfectly diagonal in a way that would have that, that saved her body. Huh. I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah, wow. Because, right? yeah, I feel like if I ever fall from a great height, I won't have a chance to Google that before <laughs> I hit the ground. All right, so I'm careening to my death. Um... <sighs> hey Siri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just gonna. Hey Siri. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's great. Oh, hello. Ah. Key. Oh no, it's a straight fairy. Oh, oh, straight fairy. I forgot about that. Okay, I need to focus on that. Um. Fuck, we're not a next time on Game Grumps yet. I, I really want to just like blast through this because we've already done this on the show and I'm like totally lost right now. 
Mm -hmm. Um, and it's like, I don't want to just like pause the episode for two minutes. Although I guess, <laughs> why wouldn't I? Did you say all the ladies? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> I don't recall saying that. No. No. Okay. I was like, that couldn't have been what he said, but <laughs> sure sounded like it. Uh, oh, I got the map. Okay. I think that's helpful. I, it is helpful. Look at all the places you haven't been to yet. Uh, fuck. All right. I gotta look this up. I'm sorry. All right. I, uh, apparently, like, I have to punch them to wake them up. Ah. Uh, or, or not. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I have to wake them up in sequence. Or, yeah. Maybe, yep, that yeah. one's up. He's up. He's up. I think wow. we wake up in sequence then. I, I just have to kill okay. all these and like a treasure chest appears. Well, that sounds great. It does, man. <laughs> do it. Why don't you do it? I feel so uh, yeah. fucking invincible right now. Because I have like the, that defense upgrade. Yeah, you are really pummeling these things. Oh, there's only... Oh, that's all you need. Nice. Great job, Aaron. I'm I'm so fu like I literally would just I was just like taking it from those things and I only lost one heart. Yeah, you're 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 kicking some serious ass That's and awesome. it's inspiring and beautiful to watch. Thanks, man. Shall we next time on Game Grumps it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's and I will go through this. You know what? I'm gonna clear a little bit of this dungeon off stage then or off camera. Okay. Because we've already done all this. Sounds great. Great. All right, and bye. we will see you once this dungeon has been cleared a little bit next time. Yay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, great.